Hi guys, this is Joe Kelly. Um, if you're not a member of the Instinctive Actor Society, you can join the group now. That's where we um, take all of our discussions further and you can ask me your personal questions, you can share your personal situations and we get to dive deeper in there. Some of you guys may have noticed, sorry my email is open, it's gonna make some noise, um, that you have a lot of resistance. And when you have a lot of resistance, what happens is that acting starts being really hard because it's like you're carrying so much weight um, inside of your instrument that you can't really be present, right? So um, I remember there was an actress that I started to uh, work with and when she came in here and she was working in auditions and she was a, you know, a working actress in, um, still is a great actress. But when we started working together, she would come in here with pages and pages of, you know, um, audition work. And she would have so much stuff to get through before we could actually pay attention to the material and uh, to what it was doing for her and to what she wanted to create around it and all of that good stuff that there was really like, it felt like she, she had to move through mud before she was present. And you might have experienced this yourself, like that you have so much resistance that everything seems hard. Like, oh, but this casting office is, is not the one I like, and the pages, there's too much pages, and the text is too hard to learn, and you know, like like the, the emotions that it demands, I, I don't know if I can get there. So suddenly, all of the stuff you love doing, and you know you can do, when there's an opportunity to do it, and um, when you're called in for an audition or a great role in a show or in a movie, when it matters, suddenly, your resistance makes everything hard. And it, of course, it's not fun, it's extremely frustrating. And it really can feel to some actors, I hear them when we start working, like they're drowning in, like into something. It really feels like, okay, that from here, try to act from, from this, right? So like your resistance, you've allowed it to take so much space inside of you that at one point, like you're drowning inside of it, it's on top. So basically you're trying to act like this, right? And well, how does it feel to act like this? How am I gonna learn my lines? How am I gonna, you know, make some choices? How am I gonna not try and be right? How am I gonna be instinctive? How this is nothing you can do, right? Basically, if you're trying to act like this, you, it's impossible. Right? Yeah, some actors have that a lot show up when they have callbacks. Everything was easy and fun and flowing and suddenly there's a callback and <clears throat> resistance shows up and then everything becomes so hard. Uh, so resistance, Juan, is the blocks that you feel, the fears that you feel, the tensions, the nerves. I have a word for that, which is resistance, because you're actually resisting what's natural in there. And so it feels like it's blocked. It feels like it's a ton of basically shit that you're carrying around. And that is actually running the show. So you're not showing up like, you know, as free as when you were a child and just being completely in the flow, in the moment, in life, and you're just acting and playing and having fun. No, you're resisting, you're shrinking, you're blocked, you're trying to do it right, you're trying to make them like you, you're trying to guess what it is that you should do to make it right, you're trying to already prepare the emotion that you should be having. So you're not present, you're not alive, it's not fun at all, it's not fun for you, it's not satisfying, it's not fun to watch because you're not present, you're really unable to be um, to be in the moment, to be there as a human being fully alive. So that's what resistance is. When you have that a lot, um, it's really hard and it's really frustrating and it impacts everything, right? When you're in a phase where you're very resistant or you're always resistant or always somewhat resistant, it's not just acting that becomes hard. Everything is hard, right? It's hard to sleep. It's hard to have fun. It's hard to have relationships. 
It's hard to be, you know, financially abundant. It's hard on your body. It's hard on your emotions. It's like the cost of staying in resistance. Basically, it has an impact on all of your life because everything that you do and in every way that you show up, there is that resistance that is preventing you from just being the full version of you. And so that's really, really, really painful to a lot of actors. And maybe you can recognize yourself there somewhere. It has an impact on all your life. Acting is not hard, right? When you were a child, when you were little and you were acting, not even professionally, but you were just acting with your Play-Doh and pretending it was a rabbit and having it chased by a wolf and whatnot, you were not acting from any resistance. You were acting from a place of just being purely instinctive and free and in the moment not caring whatsoever to do it right or what are the others going to think. You were in your zone completely free, completely present, completely alive, completely in flow. And that was really easy. What happened? What happened for this resistance? What happens between little kids being completely free when they act professionally or not professionally? And then the adult version of you when resistance is actually running the show that and you can't seem to be able to, no matter how much you want to try and not be resistant, you leave the audition room or you leave the set and you're like, yeah, it was okay or it was terrible, but it wasn't incredible. I wasn't what I know I can be. I wasn't as talented as I know I can be. I wasn't as free. I wasn't using my potential that you know you have. The question really is if acting is not hard and you used to do it really freely and easily when you were little, and now it's become difficult, what are you gonna do about it, right? And I know you guys are smart, I know you guys are passionate, I know you guys are really committed into your career, and if you are smart, you already know that trying to go from A to B, meaning trying to go from being resistant to being free, and trying to do it the same way that hasn't given you any results, so, so like, continuing to train and thinking, okay, I'm going to continue to go to acting class and learn method after method. And at one point it will pay off or, um, you know, continuing to try to relax when you are doing an audition or when you are, um, acting and that doesn't work either. What, what kind of person are you going to choose to be? Are you going to continue to do that thing that doesn't work and sit under your resistance working so hard to try and be present and feel something that's fun and give something that's actually alive? Or are you going to actually look at it for what it is? What are you going to do? Are you going to continue to do the same thing and hope that one day it changes as you wear yourself out and as it costs you everything, spiritually, mentally, physically, relationship, family, your work, your passion? Or are you going to, once and for all, look at that resistance for what it is and say, okay, I'm going to take care of it. That's the only thing that is in between me and being completely free, being completely open, and acting from a place of ease. Am I going to take care of that and get it done once and for all? And then I can act from a place of ridiculous freedom and power, and it has an impact on all my life. Or am I going to continue to do the same thing and expect different results, which we all know leads to insanity. So if you know you're dealing with resistance and you know that is what is preventing you from enjoying the heck out of this profession and impacting the heck out of your audience, what are you waiting for? Take care of it. It doesn't take a long time. It takes a month. You undo the conditioning. You rewire your instinct. And guess who shows up? You. The real you, the one that you know is extremely talented, has all the potential in the world, is powerful. And that person, when that person does this, then everything changes. And then you can act from a place of being, not from a place of faking, of controlling, of, you know, doing it right. All that yucky stuff. Not fun. All right. So I'll put a link to um, the wait list so that if you guys are considering to reset your instrument and if you want to look into that, if you're ready to tackle your resistance once and for all and to actually show up, 
and you can do that. <laughs>